Hello everyone and welcome to another new tutorial. In this video you will learn how to solve second order differential equation in Python as well as in Comsol Multiphysics. Now second order differential equation are actually the basic foundation of mostly any numerical simulation. So I thought why not uh, just discuss about the second order differential equation uh, in brief and then we'll move on to solving the same model in Python as well as in Comsol Multiphysics to see the two different workflows. So just to introduce you, a linear second order differential equation ODE we can write in the form of a y double prime plus b y prime plus c of y is equal to f of x. Okay, this is how it is written. Now y is the unknown function and y prime and y double prime are the first and second derivative of y and x respectively. Okay, so these are the two derivatives of y. So basically this will be dy by dx and the second derivative means d2y by dx square, something like that. Okay. And again, A, B, and C are actually constants. And fx is a function of x. So this is how it actually looks. You will see in many places that it says the equation is linear in y. So what does it mean? So basically the equation is linear in y, y prime, and y double prime, meaning that each of these appears to the first power and there is no product of y, y prime or y double prime. So you do not have any term something like this. So that is why it is called a linear. Now if fx is equal to 0, it is called homogeneous. And if fx is not equal to 0, then it is called non-homogeneous and so on. Now in terms of a practical application where these equations are used, there is for example the simple harmonic oscillator which is written in the form of y double prime plus omega square y equal to zero. We also have the damped harmonic oscillator, which we generally write as y double prime plus two k omega y prime plus omega square y equal to zero. Similarly, we have forced vibration where instead of zero, we have a function of fx and so on. So there are numerous examples where these equations are helpful. Now let us move into Python and see how we can solve a example of an ODE. So for our example, we'll be looking at an equation which is in the form of a y double prime plus b y prime plus c equal to zero. And we have chosen a value of a to be 1, b to be 0 0.5 and c to be 2. So basically we have an equation like a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equal to 0. And we have the constant a equal to 1, b equal to 0 0.5 and c equal to 2. And the equation will look something like this. After we solve the solution, and we plot the result, the graph will look something like this for y and y prime. So we are in Python. So let us learn how we can actually solve the problem in Python. And then we'll move on to Comsol Multiphysics and check the result. So at first, since we are actually numerically solving the uh, equation, so the first thing is that we will be importing num5. So I'll write import num5 as np. So this line imports the num5 library, which is used for numerical computation in Python. It's commonly abbreviated as np. Okay, then we will be importing sci-fi. So we'll write from sci-fi dot integrate we can press tab to get it typed so that it will be faster 
import solve ivp okay so this is ivp now the line actually imports the solve ivp function from the sci-fi dot integrate module solve ivp is used for solving initial value problem for the ordinary differential equations basically ODEs. now the third and last module that we are going to import is import mathplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay so these are our import lines now we will be writing the constants so a comma b comma c is equal to 1 comma 0 0.5 comma 2 okay so these are the constants i am not writing comments but you can always just write hash and we can write these are the constants so later on if you are opening the code you can actually read through and check what are the values so in most of the cases uh, the comments are always written at the top and then the values something like that so for example here also you can write import packages something like that okay so this is a good habit now we have written the constant then we have to define the od so let us define a function so we will write def ode system let me just finish writing and then i will explain what is going on So let me explain what is going on now this line defines a function od system that represents the system of first order ods equivalent to the original second order od the function takes two parameters t that is time and y okay and this line y1 comma y2 equal to y basically this line unpacks the list y into two variables, y1 and y2, where y1 represents the y, that is the function we are solving for, and y2 represents y prime, that is the derivative of y. This line basically returns the derivative as a list. The first element is y2, which is the y prime, representing the derivative of y. The second element in the expression is y double prime, derived from the original equation by actually rearranging the term you can do that and you will see that y double prime will come to this equation okay now let us move out from the function and if you are using microsoft uh, vs code you can like you can close the function something like this you can close the arrow okay so now we will add the initial condition so y0 is equal to in third brackets 1 comma 0 so what does this mean this basically means that y of 0 is 1 and y prime of 0 is 0 so once again y 0 is 1 and y prime 0 is 0 now after that we will write t span equal to 0 comma 20 and equal to np dot in space t span zero I'll just copy this comma one comma number of points so let me just write 400 okay let me explain what is going on so t span this line actually defines the time range for which we want to solve the od 
So we are trying to solve from 0 to 20 seconds. And here t evaluate, we are actually calculating the points where it will be solved. Since this is a numerical solution, we need to define how many points we are actually solving. So we are solving from 0 to 20 second with 400 points. So from 0 to 20 second, there will be 400 points on which the data will be calculated. Now the most important part that is solving. So we will write solution equal to solve IVP in bracket we will write ODE system comma T span comma Y0 comma T evaluate is equal to T evaluate okay so let me explain what is going on here we are calling solution IVP function to numerically solve the OD it takes the OD system the time span the initial condition and the times point that is the T evaluate as the argument so this is basically the format for solving the model. Now the next task is to plot the solution. So we will write plot dot figure and we will write fig size again bracket 10 comma 6 then we will write plt dot plot solution dot t comma solution dot y0 comma label equal to we'll just label it so that it is easier for us to understand so we'll write y of t and just to save time i'll just paste this and instead of y0 this will be y1 and this will be y prime of t okay now we will write uh, plt dot title solution of a y prime prime plus b y prime plus c y equal to zero okay and we don't actually need to write the levels but anyway i'll just add the legend and then i can of course add grid okay i think here i made a mistake so i will just add a double quotation here because uh, there is a syntax error since there is one here okay i'll just rerun i'll right click run python in terminal and we have the result so this is the solution of this uh, second order differential equation so y of t is the solution of y and the y prime t in orange is the first derivative of y you can see that it is damping out almost after 20 second it is almost flat so we are done with python now let us move on to Gumsol multiphysics and see how we can do the same thing much easier and in much a smaller time in the software hello so we are in Gumsol multiphysics and we have created a new document so at first let us add a 1d component to do that i'll go on and click on 1d it might take few seconds to load and then 
we can just add a point at the geometry click somewhere and straight away we'll go on to add physics and we'll go on to mathematics OD and D interface and we'll click add to component now you will see that the OD module will be imported now let us define the parameters that is the constant so we have a that is 1 b that is 0 0.5 and c was 2 right and let us now define the function so let us use the variable u so basically y is u here and we will write the function since right hand side was 0 so we will write 0 minus a into u dt minus b into u t minus c into u and if you remember the initial condition that is y of 0 was 1 and y prime of 0 was 0 so this is fine now we have almost set up the differential equation as you can see in this equation we have to write in the form of this function so if on the right hand side we had some value then we have to write instead of zero and then all the term we need to move on the other side that's why everything is negative so basically the whole equation is being put here now let us add a study to do that you can go on to the study tab or we can click on add study click on time dependent study and add it in your model now since in the python code uh, we are interested to study for 20 seconds so i'll add 20 and i can add 0 0.05 now we have set up the study let us click on compute and check the results so i'll click on compute and the result is done so i'll just open up the 1d plot group and you see the state variable u is plotted so this is basically y now if i plot u t you can see that console automatically takes the first derivative u t and if i click on plot you see i have the two plots okay and of course i can increase the thickness now i have brought up the solution that i got from python and i have the solution that i got from Comsol multiphysics so you can see that both of the solution are exactly the same because we are actually solving the same equation so the blue curve is the y and the green curve in Comsol and the orange curve in python are the first derivative so you can see that both the plots are exactly the same so this is how you solve the ODs in Python as well as in other software such as in Comsol Multiphysics. In some other tutorial in future, I will try to show you how you can uh, actually solve complicated coupled uh, second order differential equation. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up and do comment your thoughts about this video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead.